Today we have a recipe so easy, you don't even need a grill, an oven, or a stove. Candace Conley is the girl who can cook, and she's here with a prosciutto recipe that won't burn down the house. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. It's ham, right? Italian ham. It's cured, but not smoked. Cured, but not smoked. What does cured mean? Sorry, I'm dumb. Does well, it's salt, salted, it? yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that it lasts a long time. Okay. Okay. All right, All right so... Uh, we're going to do a class on Thursday called Italy in Small Bites. At Urban Kitchen. At Urban Kitchen. And it is, um, the, the name of it in Italian is merende. Say that again. Merende. Merende. Yeah. Uh, you, don't you feel like you're in like an, an Italian, you know, Merende. conversation class? Um, yeah. It just means snacks. <laughs> Dang it, I wanted it to mean something really cool. Oh, I know. But no, it's that's good. Snacks. Okay, so. Um, and they, in, in Italy, they eat merende throughout the day. Kind of, you know, they have a little breakfast, and they have a little merende, and then mm -hmm. they, you know, so they have, have a little these, vino. A little vino with mm -hmm. the merende. And so um, this is one of those things that they do. Um, and you can, you know, you can change it up however you like. Okay. But we're going to do ours with prosciutto um, and dates. Oh, wow. Okay, so. My merende is chips ahoy and milk. Well, that. That. Except I say, chips ahoy, yeah. Like that. That was, sorry, if you're Italian watching, that was really rude. It's kind of racist. I didn't mean that. Well, no, they have this wonderful lilting sound to the language. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to, it's fun it to say It is. It's fun to like do that. the whole thing. Like, yeah. I'm funny how? Funny like a clown. You know, like, do that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, we're moving on now. Sorry. I just okay, all those voices is fun. Okay, so... We're going to take our prosciutto. They're wide, so we're going to cut them in half because otherwise you have all this stuff. Sure, on that them. is just crazy. Okay, this Marinde. is a medjool date. Medjool date. Yeah, they are from the Middle East or North Africa, but they can be cultivated in lots of different places, okay. like California. Wow. So that's where these come from. But they're mm. nice and big, and they're meaty and tasty and sweet. I no, love dates. even when they're dried. And this is a dried date. Yes. See that little pit in the middle? Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to take that out. Yeah, you, you don't, don't want to eat, eat that. that. That's bad merende. But that is very bad merende. And so it leaves this little um, space in the center to mm -hmm. put all kinds of yummy things in. Like what? Like goat cheese, for instance. Yum. Yeah. You're very clever. We're Candace big, Conley. Well, actually, I, this is just a twist on somebody else's idea. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't come up with all the of them. Best things are stolen. Well, let's not reinvent the wheel. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Or the merende. Then, then you put a roasted and salted almond Yum. in Yum. Okay, so then now we're going to wait for a minute. We're going to put, okay. this is from my garden. What is that? This is arugula. Arugula. Yeah. And the cool thing about prosciutto is that things kind of like to stick to it. Uh, because it's really thin, sure. and it's just salty. And, and you can get it that thin, like at the deli or something? Yeah. Okay, cool. You can just buy it that way. Okay. What are you putting there? That is chives. These mm. are dried. Dried work fine if you don't have fresh. Okay. And then pepper. Okay. And this, here's the nice Chive. thing about this little um, taste treat, is mm -hmm. that it combines sweet and salty and peppery. Yeah, and, and a little creamy. bit of meaty. And, and yeah. you roll them up and they're... Kids can do this. Yeah. And that's would a it. kid like this? Because to this seems like really weird food for I, kids. I think that they would like it if you could get them to try it. And I think if you had them help make it uh -huh. and maybe put things in that they really love. I'm going to take a bite, okay? And then we're going to wrap. Because I'm going to take So tell me about the, the class again. When is it? Okay, the class is Thursday. Mm -hmm. And we are going to make all kinds of small bites. It's sort of like a Spanish tapas, like we did last week, except it's Italian. So we're going to do bruschetta. And mm. we're going to do these. We're going to do two different kinds of polenta. That's delicious. Yeah, it's got a little bit of this. It's a little, little bit of, of everything. Yeah. Thank you, Candace yeah, Conley. You're welcome. You are clever and you can cook. If you'd like to learn from Candace Conley, she teaches cooking classes, like we said, at Urban Kitchen on Cherry Street. Try this dish for yourself. You can make it. You can on our website right there. Go to greencountry.com and look under that little tab right there that says food and then recipes. Mm -hmm.